So welcome to Shole, the fourth largest city in Lithuania. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to speak to a local to get some of the uh, the best things to go and see because I don't really know much about this city. Let's see if we can find. Ah, oh, there's a woman walking past. Hello, is it last witcher? Minya zabudjeso. Do, uh, do, do you speak English? Yeah. What should, what's the best thing to see in Cholet? Uh, the cathedral. I can show you. Oh, the ladies of Cholet are friendly. What is your name? My name is Jason. <laughs> <laughs> They're very rude. I take it back. Goodbye. So, it's nine o'clock in Vilnius and today Celine has planned our adventure. We're going to the town of Cholet. Cholet, but look how it's written. Can't believe it's pronounced Cholet. But we now we need to get a grab to the train station and then three hours by train to Cholet and then we're gonna see something really special. Step one complete. Right, I've been dropped off here. Hope it's the right train station because there are more than one. Tickets cost about 16 euro each, both directions, so about 64 euro in total for this journey. And there's our train, the 7812 Klepide, 1007. So we're a little bit early. So to while away the time, Celine's going to get us some coffees. Well done. So tell me, Celine, why exactly are we going to this town in northern Lithuania, the town of Shole? Well, it's not the actual town that we're interested in. We're doing a little side trip from that town. Right, it's 20 minutes till the train leaves, but we don't want to miss it, so let's see. Let's get on and see what it's like. Alright, here we are. Yeah, there's definitely our seats. <laughs> We're off. Perfect timing. Let's go to Shole. <laughs> I find the ticket because the lady is here and she looks angry as hell. We've been bypassed. So we're only 20 minutes into the journey and the forest of Lithuania is everywhere. With sporadic little houses. the journey and we're passing through the town of Shonova. It looks like this. So we've arrived in Shole. Right, it's famous for its statues and there's one there. Well, this is our first glimpse of the city, which is actually the fourth largest city in Lithuania. Shole. It's got a church and it's got a signpost over here. Let's have a look. It started raining. You can feel it, this is not good. This wasn't on the uh, BBC weather forecast. Interesting wall art, but we're going to head now to the center, which is, according to Google Maps, a 17 minute walk. You must have seen it like millions of times because you I live don't, here. No, I don't speak English. It looks like 
a bolt. I like it. This looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. We were a bit um, dismissive when we first arrived, thinking this is not great. Uh, and one thing to be aware of, the zebra crossings in Lithuania, the cars just stop straight away. You don't have to wait, they will stop. What do you think of this square? What do you think of the uh, local? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is he, is he alive? Right, we're coming up to a park because we're going to find a bench and have our sandwiches which we brought because we didn't know what the situation would be like next to this fetching building come on get making the sandwiches quicker I'm hungry look at this palm cheese and Doritos we live the high life in Lithuania Mm. Well, I'd rather have sandwiches mm. on the park bench instead of drugs. They got that back here. Well, nice. Not a bad square. Symbol of Lithuania over there, the man on the horse. And a nice big sign. That's where we are. The name of our city. Sholei. Welcome to Sholei. Hashtag Sholei Svilskia. Square, I reckon. Look at that posing. She loves herself. She loves herself more than I do. I'm going to pick up my hair no. for my sister. Celine likes the street. I do actually. And it's really good that they've got all these statues. There's loads of them. Look at this great square clock and this Cholet facade there. Right, we need some uh, provisions before we set forth. So we're back where the uh, vagabonds are and we're going into the Icky Express. Someone's addicted to these. Look so nice. She ate a complete packet to herself. I got one of them. No, I didn't. Yes, you did? I did not. You had 50%, if not more. All right, got our supplies. Oh, and some sweeties as well. Now we've got to wait in this bloody queue. And there is Cholet Cathedral. So before we go into the cathedral, let me give you some history of this town of Cholet. It's had some pretty grim things happen to it. First World War, almost completely destroyed. Second World War, almost completely destroyed again. And also what the Germans did was they got rid of all the Jews in the city. I think there's something like 5,000 to start off with. And in the end, there was like 400 left executed in forests just outside the city. So it's not surprising. It looks a bit Soviet now. So it says it's the Church of St. Peter and Paul, built in the 17th century. In 1880, though, it says lightning struck the tower, so they had to make some repairs on it. But this is to commemorate when John Paul II came here, when he made it's a cathedral. Right, let's try to go in. So we're going to go now to the Hill of Crosses um, and I think it started out in the early 19th century because people from Lithuania were putting crosses up there in remembrance of their brothers and their fathers who died in, these, in, the, in the Polish uprising. 